Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Rashmi here, registered dietitian and sports and exercise nutritionist. So today I'm going to talk about tiredness or fatigue and underperformance in athletes. So if you feel too tired too often, then you need to watch this video as I am going to discuss reasons for persistent tiredness in sports and how you can address them. So stay tuned. I'll be right back after this short break. Athletes feeling tired after a tough workout or bad night's sleep is normal and temporary. But what happens when that tiredness doesn't go away? Fatigue is a problem when it interferes with an athlete's everyday life. It might feel like a physical heaviness or inability to concentrate. And I see fatigue affects athletes in different ways. It affects physical and mental capacity of a person to perform set tasks. It is especially noted in athletes who push themselves to the limits of endurance and is also common among people who engage in strenuous exercises. So one can usually differentiate between normal healthy tiredness and abnormal fatigue. Normal healthy tiredness goes away within a day or two of lessened activity or rest, whereas abnormal fatigue is persistent and might need medical intervention. So the question is, how does fatigue affect athletic performance? Chronic fatigue can have negative impact on both physical and mental performance. Fatigued athletes will have less energy to exert themselves during a practice or a game. They will also find it difficult to stay focused both on the field and in the classroom. So persistent tiredness impairs performance and many factors play a role in causing fatigue while playing a sport. So here are some of the common causes of persistent tiredness and how you can address them. Number one, overtraining. Overtraining is a common cause of persistent tiredness and can have disastrous consequences. Excessive training load with no recovery time produces a short-term overtraining. So instead of resting, if one increases the intensity of the training, then an impaired performance happens. And then most of the time, athlete further increases their training, creating overtraining syndrome, burnout or chronic fatigue in athletes. So the solution is awareness both by the athlete and the coach. If overtraining syndrome is not severe, then resting as much as possible for 48 hours may be sufficient. But if this brief rest period is not sufficient, then resolution may take weeks or months. In such cases, treatment includes further rest, attention to diet and fluid intake. Cause number two is poor sleep. Both increased quantity and quality of sleep help athletes improve performance. Sleep is essential to recharge your body with the rest needed to feel fully functional and perform well. Poor quality and quantity of sleep is detrimental to performance. In a study of male runners and volleyball players, both group of athletes exhausted faster after sleep deprivation. So athletes try to get anywhere between 7 to 9 hours of sleep daily and treat sleep with as much importance as your athletic training and diet. Third cause is inadequate nutrition. Now this includes some of the nutritional factors that can contribute to fatigue. Number one, inadequate carbohydrate intake. Now I can't stress on this enough as to why carbohydrates are so important for athletes. So fatigue can happen due to carbohydrate deficiency. Carbohydrate is an important energy source during exercise. So eating insufficient carbohydrates combined with regular exercise can cause gradual depletion of muscle glycogen leading to fatigue, then muscle loss, poor recovery and poor energy as well. And since carbohydrates are also required to fuel your brain, low carbohydrate diets can also cause poor concentration, depression and mood swings. So athletes, make sure you include enough carbs in your diet and opt for carbs from whole foods like grains, fresh fruits and vegetables, beans, legumes instead of processed carbs and junk foods. Number two, poor food choices. Insufficient intake of whole foods and over-reliance on processed snack can lead to fatigue. Similarly, using caffeine-containing foods and beverages to suppress fatigue 
can lead to chronic tiredness as caffeine interferes with sleep patterns. So athletes eat food for true energy and not caffeine for a stimulant. Number three, insufficient calorie intake. I see a large number of athletes not consuming enough calories to meet the energy demands of their sport. Also purposely, some of the athletes restrict their calorie intake to maintain a low body weight for their sport or to achieve a particular weight category to compete. And if this is not well planned, it can lead to fatigue. So athletes, you need to have energy rich foods and drinks during and after exercise to meet your additional needs. Number four, dehydration. When you start feeling thirsty, your body is already dehydrated. Athletes, you might have noticed you start feeling sluggish or unable to focus on your game. So drinking water before, during and after your game prevents dehydration. And number five, iron deficiency. Now iron deficiency is one of the common reasons for fatigue, especially in females and adolescents, which can wreak havoc on your energy and training. So iron supplementation is necessary if you have iron deficiency, anemia or low iron stores. And for more details, you can check my this video in order to understand how iron affects your performance and what you can do to improve your iron levels. So after inadequate nutrition intake, fourth cause for persistent tiredness is poor nutritional timing. Poor nutritional timing can also cause fatigue. So skipping breakfast or only having a nutrition bar for lunch does not provide enough energy to keep an athlete going through the day. So athletes, make sure to have all your meals and snacks on time. And I have loads of video on this topic which you can refer in order to improve this aspect. So fifth cause is food sensitivities. Food sensitivities are basically adverse reactions of your body to a particular food. These reactions can be responsible for many symptoms, but fatigue is definitely one of them. Think about it. If your body is fighting against a food, then it takes away a lot of energy from your body, leaving you feeling exhausted. So athletes, if you think you have any kind of food allergy or any food makes you uncomfortable, then I highly recommend you to get a food allergy test done to figure out which food is responsible for your tiredness. Sixth cause for persistent tiredness is inadequate recovery period. Now this is pretty common among athletes nowadays. So resting between events is important to give your body enough time to recover. Without proper recovery time, your body could be fatigued before your next game even begins. Sore muscles, stiffness and feeling groggy are warning signs that you are not getting enough rest. During your next game, you may not perform your best. So extreme fatigue from inadequate rest not only affects your performance, but it can also increase your risk of injury. So athletes, if you're feeling tired, then sometimes take a day off from your training or gym or ask your coach if you can sit outside to watch the game to give some time to your body to recover. At number seven, the cause can be medical conditions. Sometimes fatigue can be a symptom of a medical condition like Crohn's disease, celiac disease, etc. An athlete may be having a healthy balanced diet but may not be absorbing all the nutrients they need. So athletes, I suggest you to consult a sports medicine doctor to rule out if you have any such condition. And lastly, mental health issues like depression can also cause chronic fatigue. So athletes don't hesitate to consult a sports psychologist if you're facing any such mental health issues. So athletes, vitamin pills or any other supplements will not boost your energy. Replacing inadequate or lost nutrients in addition to adequate sleep and stress management can go a long way in resolving your chronic fatigue. Persistent fatigue isn't normal. If fatigue is interfering with your performance, schoolwork or making it hard to enjoy your free time, then I highly recommend you to speak to a sports medicine physician or a qualified sports nutritionist. Very often, there is a reason and a solution for persistent tiredness. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, have a lovely weekend and I will see you next week.